Blow. I look rough. you know how many people you see the little person so what number is next to it right now one okay that means only one person is watching so you gotta keep oh. you gotta keep looking at it hey y'all this is Jeff coming in I need to put my hair up I'll be right back I'm here to talk to them read the comments I'm not good at reading. Try, oh, baby. Sound it out. Christmas, happy holidays. Boy, buddy. Hey, buddy, girl. Buddy, 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 buddy. So, um, Amir is starting to look like one of your. Yes, Amir, everybody says that Amir looks like Brandon. His hair's growing. We didn't do his hair today. We've been in the house all day. Why well, so. do I look like, do I look like him? Y'all look a little bit. Go play. His hair's Shh, Cause y'all gonna be loud, brother, sleep. Go play. Okay. I don't want to. I'm, go play, go play. Please. Watch, you want me to watch it in there. Go play because you're going to be too loud. And I need your brother to stay asleep while I'm cooking. Okay? Thank you. But, um. Can I my my in a minute. Go play. <laughs> the baby's sleeping in the living room, y'all. And I don't want him to wake up. And Amir and Paige will get loud and turn up and he'll wake up. Okay, so I was recording a regular video for y'all, but my phone ran out of storage. I got like so many videos of like baby videos and y'all know how it is. Pictures, and I need to go through and delete. Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope y'all had a good holiday. Those that do celebrate the holidays, I hope you guys had a great holiday. Me and the fam did. So it's been a minute since I recorded almost... Does anybody know when's the last time I posted? Probably like over a month or so, two months maybe. So um, today I'm cooking rib tips. So these rib tips did come like long, like a strip. And what I did was, I recorded all of this part in the video, so I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. So what I did was I cut each rib tip at the joint, right? And then I added some yellow mustard. I love this seasoning. They sell it here in Texas at Walmart. It's called two gringos, two pacaba rub. It's a fine meat rub, seasoned all. This is very, very good. I use that. I add a little bit of seasoned salt because this does have salt in it. And then I use the Mrs. Dash lemon pepper. I like Mrs. Dash because it's salt free. I added some paprika for color and I added some minced garlic. And I also added brown sugar. I need to rewrite my label, y'all. I messed it up. Okay. So then I did that and I rubbed it all in. As you guys can see, like I coated it really good. Like you want to see the seasoning. See, baby. 
So I'm gonna cover this with foil and I have the oven on 400 so it can cook. And um, if you make this, you can put uh, at the end when you're done making it, you can add barbecue sauce, but I don't. Hold on a second, let me wipe my camera. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, but yeah, so it's been a while. And you guys know every time I disappear, I, seem, I tend to disappear and like pop out with some news. Okay, so oh, I also wash my meat with vinegar and salt because it had like this weird texture to it. I can't explain it. So I soaked it in water and salt first and like I drank that and then I took salt and like sprinkled it on it and like literally rubbed the meat and I rinsed it off and I soaked it into some vinegar. So yeah, boom. Okay, so now let's cover this with foil. I'll be right back. Let's go in the pantry. And I'm gonna leave this spoon out because I'm gonna use this spoon to like stir as it's cooking. I'll take y'all with me. But yeah, so every time I go MIA, I always come back with some dramatic ass news. As y'all can see, everything looks different, right? Duh, why does it look different, you guys? It's one plus one, two. Let's put it together. Uh oh. So, let me put lower the camera so y'all can see. We got our house, you guys. We finally got our house. It's been a long year being with mom, and I'm so thankful for her and Eric. And we are finally in our house. My pantry is getting, let me show you my pantry. It's a little organized. It's not how I want, but these are my containers that Fruit bought me for Christmas last year um they have like they came like this and they're like airlock and they have these labels that you write and you can erase it and you write on it but i lost a freaking white marker that goes to it and amazon sells them so i need to it. oh shit <laughs> amazon sells them so i need to uh, buy it but yeah i got like all of my goodies in here and then all of my you know I eventually want to get containers for my cereal and stuff like that. But yeah. Thank you guys, huh? Thank you. Y'all gonna wake him up. Let's put this in the oven. And the oven's on 400. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna make um, mac and cheese with that because we haven't had mac and cheese in a while. So I just need one thing in mac and cheese, and we're going to do some cornbread. Do I got cornmeal? Yep, I got cornmeal. And we're gonna do some cornbread. Yes, I have gained weight. I've definitely, this is the most I've ever weighed, and I'm 31. <laughs> so, out of weight. We're gonna do mac and cheese, cornbread. I don't got nothing green. I don't know what else to cook with it. Get my cornmeal out. But yes, I don't know how much I weigh actually, but you guys, I can just tell when I look at myself, I can tell in my face that um, I've definitely gained some weight. I'm not complaining, but I'm not saying it in a bad way. But um, so we are, we have joined the Houston YouTube family, y'all. We live right on the outskirts of Houston. So if anybody's in Houston, hey. Um, so far, I love it. I'm very happy. I wish it was daytime because. We literally stay right by our pond and it'd be like ducks out there, people fishing and stuff. So it's very cool. And I want to give y'all a house tour. My house looks horrible right now. And you guys gotta realize I just moved. So I don't want y'all to see in this state. And I just been taking down, like today I woke up taking down all of my Christmas decorations. So the Christmas tree is down. All my decorations are still splattered on the couch because I need to put it in the, uh, my decoration bin and etc. Fruit is in the bedroom sleep. So I can't even go in there because I don't want to make too much noise um so yeah but when i get it together i'm definitely gonna show you guys like y'all know i'm not gonna leave y'all out the loop so that meat is gonna have to cook for like let's say an hour or so i need to let that cook um i'm trying to find out what else i'm gonna do with it i'll probably do some baked beans i know i cook baked beans a lot but i gotta cook what they gonna eat i know i'm gonna do cornbread yeah, let's do baked beans. Let's add some color to the food. Because <laughs> I don't want everything to be yellow. Because I was like, I could do mashed potatoes. Or I could do yellow rice. But then it's like mac and cheese, yellow rice. Everything is like yellow and starchy. So let's do baked beans. 
cornbread, mac and cheese, and baked beans. That sounds good. And then I have some leftover rice. Yep, I'm gonna eat mine with some white rice. Cause y'all know I don't do the mac and cheese. Um, should I do a uh, ground? Nope, be matter of fact. Let's, um, let's see. The baby is asleep, y'all. He should be up in a second. Y'all gonna hear him grinding. He's gotten so big. Let me give y'all a little peek at the baby. Hold on. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna turn the light on so y'all can see him. Hope he's still asleep. He got a do rag on, y'all. There go my junior. Uh oh, he might wake up. There go my junior. Think about it. <laughs> do rag from Amazon. That's my baby. Mama baby. Yeah, he keep them little hands together like that. Like he plotting or something. That's not funny. <laughs> but yeah, so uh me and Fruit was talking because we wanted to record the Q&A for you guys because y'all asked some good questions. And um, I, I was telling him about it and we decided like, let's wait till we move and because we want to be in a comfortable environment and we don't want like, you know, my, mom, my mom's house is her, Eric, my brother, his girlfriend, they always walking by and stuff. And I just wanted it to be like just us and, and I'm home, you know, answering the questions and vibing. So yeah. That's what uh we're gonna do. So um it's just like little knickknack stuff I'm waiting on y'all. I need to get bar stools because my old bar stools, which are at my mom's house, they're fucking destroyed. Like they look horrible. I had these gray ones. If y'all ever see them in my own my old videos, they over with done. So I gotta get new bar stools. Um I don't plan on getting a dining room table because the kids have like the mini kids table and I sit at the uh the counter and eat. So yeah. I'm excited though. I can't wait to give you guys a house tour. Like, I love my house. I have a backyard. This is my first time ever having a backyard. Like, I think the first house me and Fruit had when we were renting, um, that house did not even have a backyard. It had like a, it had like a little back uh, patio thing, like a little uh, patio or whatever, but not a backyard. So how was your everyone's holidays? What are you guys doing for New Year's? What are your New Year's resolutions? What is your New Year's resolution? Re is it that the word resolution? I think that's the word. But what are your New Year's res res resolution? Let's inspire each other and motivate each other. You know, some people are like, ah, oh, you shouldn't wait till the New Year. Or da -da -da. You can do it all year. But hey, the New Year is like just a bigger motivator because it's like, okay, New Year, I get to start over. I get to try, you know, to do it a different way or accomplish the goal I didn't do this year. So what are your New Year's resolutions? Mine is to be a full-time content creator. That's one of my big, my, one of the top of my goals this year. You know, um, everything else, I'm pretty much happy in life, like friends, family, my relationship. So I don't really have anything as far as a resolution for that, another than for it to keep on flourishing. But I really, really want to become 24 seven content creator. I'm talking about wake up, record my routines, record content, post it, edit it, you know, get into TikTok, cause I'm not into TikTok. Like I have a TikTok, I got a couple videos on there, but my videos don't even get views because I'm not into it. But I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get more into that. Um, I'm getting back into the flow of Instagram. Um, I'm not big on posting reels. So all of that goes into the category of becoming a con a full-time content creator. Um, my goal, uh, with a goal within that goal is to be able to not have to work and clock in you guys i have been clocking in and working the nail salon since 2020 you know i've been working for myself so i want to be able to continue that you know it's a blessing to not have to do that and get paid off social media um this year probably the month of september i started getting paid from facebook 
So um, I do get paid from that. Um, I got accepted to get paid from Instagram. So yeah, just to become a content creator and really, you know, make that my lifestyle. Like wake up. I want to be. I want to be on a schedule. Like okay, Amir goes to school. I need to wake up and record me doing my skincare routine. Record me cooking my breakfast, making my tea. This time, you know, um, I start editing. I'm back in school now. So this time. Uh, such and such between this time and this time I could do my homework and turn this test in and do this discussion board so yeah being in a new house is going to be part of that because there's a lot of things that um, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that like I want to decorate and do to it because when we moved from our apartment in Atlanta to move here to Texas we got rid of so much shit like we're literally starting all over fresh I kept like little knickknacks but you know I need to get things to go on the wall little decorations to go around the house and stuff like that so that's part of me creating content let me show y'all my knife set off amazon though ain't this cute the scissors go over here i come and say hey baby what do you think about you wakey wakey mm -hmm. Just wakey, wakey, mm. He love bug. He know I love bug. They don't, you don't know these people yet, but I want you to say hey to them. You gonna say hey? You gonna smile for the camera? Material is like slip resistant, so it doesn't slip off, it stays on. Oh man, the sound went out. Cause somebody calling me. Hey, bro. Can y'all hear me now? Hey. Somebody was calling me. You can come out. Okay. Hey. Yeah, brother is up. Y'all can come out now. Can you see my baby? Oh, Mom's the house is. Mm -mm, baby. Um, there's one gray monster house shoe in your closet. I don't know where the other one is at. No, I, I said the main one. Oh, uh uh, boo. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that, baby. So, yeah. Hello. This right here, y'all, is my knife set I got off Amazon on Black Friday. Of course, it's missing knife, but and the scissors just got washed. But the scissors go in here. The like it sits in this like this like the potato pillar and it came with a um knife sharpener thing but yeah it look i love it and the knives are like so sharp they work so good got that on black friday i also got this one on black friday it's like a uh what do you call it pencil set and it's red and gold. It comes with some um some tongue things too. What else we snatched up? I don't know, baby. It's in there somewhere. I got this. I got the pot set on Black Friday. It's like a pretty come on. Oh yeah, phone. I got this. No, I couldn't answer the phone. <laughs> they was like, we can't hear you. I was like, somebody calling me. But um, I just fried chicken in it yesterday. But my pot set, it looks like this pretty red color. So if y'all can't tell, my kitchen is going to be like red and gold and black or whatever. I still got my Christmas decorations up in here. I ain't took it that down yet. I'm cooking dinner. Dinner, dinner. 
Spoil, y'all. Spoil Rodney. We so so fast. I have to do this too. I mean, like this. And he said, what? <laughs> okay, Paige. <laughs> Shame. Yep. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Baby, say hey. <laughs> Fruit up now. Let me show y'all my favorite part. I ain't wanna go in there, go in there cause you was up. I mean, you were asleep. It said, hey, babe. What you cooking? Some real tips. Where you got a pan from? Who? So here, okay, I'm not gonna show y'all my bedroom because it's it need to be clean, y'all. I'm still trying to organize. And y'all excuse the little mess house, but this is my favorite part of the house. I feel like every woman's favorite part of the house is like the kitchen or the bathroom. So as y'all can tell, like I'm a little organized in here, but we're still getting organized. Mom, this is one of my things for recording. Um, I still have to use it. It has like this camera with like a motion sensor. But um this like my little organizer for everything I use in the morning, all of my skincare stuff. This right here, um, these adjusters right here, right here, because I ordered this cordless uh, mechanical cleaner thing for the bathroom. So yeah, I was playing with it last night, but my shower, my little section things, I got those off of Amazon too on Black Friday, the little black holders. Um, and then I'm very, y'all know I'm really organized. <laughs> so this side are my tiles and this side are fruit tiles because I like to use white tiles and rags. So the white rags are in the front are for my face. The ones in the back are for my body or, you know, whatever else. I also like to use these. Y'all, if you are not using these to wash your body, you tripping. So these, I like these exfoliating, exfoliating gloves. I use these every day in the shower. Like it's going to have your skin feeling so soft because it exfoli exfoliates the dead skin off so good i've been using this since i was pregnant with junior and um my skin is always like dumb soft so yeah i use that you can get that at walmart target tj maxx y'all excuse our closet but i love our closet look at this shoe fucking shoe fanatic here so obviously this is fruit side of the closet he has a thing for jackets too and this is my side of the closet. Y'all look at his old raggedy ass hangers. It's not saying your hangers are raggedy if y'all got these kind, but <laughs> I love these hangers. I get these from uh, Ikea. Yeah, so and Fruit done stole some of my hangers over here and I gotta buy some more. But yeah, here's my little, here's, yes, we have a, this is the biggest closet we've ever had. Junior stuff is gonna go over here because I get him pretty much ready in here. But yeah, here is my little section of everything. I got like all of my jewelry stuff. Um, Amir's auntie made me this for Mother's Day probably like two years ago. It has Amir's name and Gio's name. This box right here, this green box has all of Gio, who is my first son, all of his stuff in there. This has all of like my jewelry. I love, mom got me this too for Christmas. So this one has like all of my anklets. These are literally all anklets. These are my favorite necklaces that I wear like when I put clothes, clothes on. And these are my bracelets. And I just hang my rings on this. And then this is where I plan on putting all of my purses. Right here. I still got two more sections down there. But this is my favorite. Here's all of like some of my smell good. So these in the front, I have all of my favorite ones from victoria's secret i love this one the uh, Lux collection i have almost all of them I have bare vanilla uh pure seduction as well as love spell if you like the ariana grande um perfume the one is called cloud this is a dupe it's called um, midnight blossom or midnight bloom by victoria's secret it smells like area area grande cloud if you like Bath & Body Works uh, Champagne Toast, this is very similar. It's called Blushing Bubbly. All of my Bath & Body Works are in the back. 
Um, this is a new smell Bay bought me from Bath and Body Works. I like it. And he bought me the spray. Yes, baby. He know I like champagne toast. And this is the perfume he bought me this year for Christmas. I love it. My favorite lotion, girls. Girls. Uh, if you like vanilla smells, this smells so good from EOS. It's the vanilla cashmere. And it's so thick and creamy. I love, 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 love thick, thick sham um, lotions. So, yeah. I love this one. Definitely need to grab this. And I got it from Walmart. Yes, thank you, but boom vaseline oil i love rubbing this on my body feel me fresh out the shower have you feeling soft why are you rubbing your face like that boo boo what get get out of my bed come on this is my bed now uh-huh get out my bed you've been all on the floor and stuff you're gonna get uh foot crumbs all in my bed mommy did not like sprinkles in the bed babe what you call it when the stuff be in the bed Should we close the door he used to work. Babe, hey, what you what you call it when stuff when you feel the stuff in the bed? Grit. Grit. I can't stand that, y'all. That's a pet peeve. I do not like getting in the bed and feeling no grit. Let's see if Junior gonna sit in his um his thing. Can you say hey to the video? Can you say hey to the video? Yeah. Say hey to the video, man. <laughs> My hands. Hey, guys. See ya, See ya. Hey. So, y'all, Junior has this thing of not liking to sit down or... Why are you making that face? Oh, that's a yawn. <laughs> He has this thing of not liking to sit down or anything, so he has like a baby swing. He don't like sitting in there. He likes to stand up. So he's what? That's how I did it. Yes. That was funny. So he um he likes to stand up. So he wasn't really grown enough for this yet, but we bought it anyways. He is we happy, and we got him standing on this. And I use this because the material his toes can grip it. Oh yeah, baby hats. These little uh, new babies. Can you can you see the water when the, the can you see the water when that light on back there? So So here's our backyard. So I do plan on getting a patio set, you guys. Right now, that's what they sit on. <laughs> and, um, I love the fact that we have a privacy fence on both sides of the house and like the front. We plan on getting a thing that hangs down, especially for the summertime, to eliminate bugs. But if you, you get, yeah, you guys definitely can't see. So this back fence is like is the water and there's ducks out there in the morning people go out there and fish so amir's dad actually got him a fishing pole this summer while he was with him and we're definitely going to put that to use um when it warms up a little bit more so backyard is a nice decent size too my kids got a backyard so that makes me very very happy let's go back in the house he ain't crying is he okay Nah, you, you, can't even, you can't even see that water with that light on. You talking to grandma? Yeah. Look at me, Junior. Junior. Hey. Hey, bud. They want to see you. Yeah. You see them kids playing? You ready to play with them? Hmm? Y'all are dangerous. Uh, so I'm going to do cornbread muffins. Um, what, babe? Can you show them this? Where is my? Oh no! Huh? I need to wash. Huh? Oh, no, because I'm cooking. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what's y'all's New Year's resolutions? Vulnerable play. Y'all out. 
What are y'all New Year's resolutions? But there's no more glue. Hmm? We might fall on something. Clean it up. You got a lot of stuff on the floor in there. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your New Year's resolution? What are your 2023, 2023 goals? If you're viewing and you're actively chatting with me, like, give me one, one of, at least one. I know y'all got to have at least one big goal that you want to achieve. Peace in this forum, yeah. Getting reconnected people. Definitely. Definitely. That's like, I feel like that's like a new, I don't want to use the word way or trend, but when I use that word, I'm saying it in a good way, but that's something new that's good that's happening. You know how like certain things that trend and it's bad, like, I don't know, I, I can't think like, okay, not bad, but you know how like makeup, certain makeup styles trend. I feel like people being more positive is like a new trend or especially for women women being more in tune of their feminine side that's like the a big trending thing like more women women used to be like men you know what i'm saying like but more, more women are more so wanting to tap into their feminine energy and be more womanly which is i think is like a good thing that's i see a lot on social media what they call it, uh, I see a lot of people say the term soft girl era. So a lot of women are tapping into their soft girl era, which is uh, beautiful to me because we all should be able to tap into our soft girl era. We should not be the, be hardcore all the time. I have, I have no idea if this exercise more. Yes, I definitely, that's one of, um, one of my goals too. It's not at the top of my list. But I definitely want to exercise more. And we'll get back into exercise. You guys know I used to be really into the fitness, eating dumb healthy. You know, so I really want to exercise more. I don't, I'm not complaining about my eating habits though, but I want to incorporate exercise into my routine. Laureen, that should be number one of your goals. You should always come first. In the aspect, even when you have kids, like you have to put you first because putting you first is going to help your kids out. If you put you first mentally, financially, it'll reflect on your children. Put God first, read the word daily. Okay, Eleanor. Yes, ma'am. I hear you, buddy. I also want to do a um, vision board this year. I have a friend on social media. She did a vision board for 2022 and like basically check mark everything off her vision board. Uh, hey, Sarah, girl, y'all yeah, can see you. But she check marked everything off her vision board. So I definitely want to do a vision board. Uh oh, he's going to cut up, y'all. Okay, honey. Okay, okay. Okay. If I had friends in Houston, I would have hosted a vision board party. But I don't have no friends in Houston. I know nobody. I love Pinterest. I, I, I'm a Pinterest whore. That's how I um, planned Amir's birthday party. Huh? What? Oh, your hair's not your thing? We're going to get you some better ones. <laughs> Then those are little teas, little tester. Oh shit. You saw what I just did, look. I took this one. <laughs> you get him for me, Marco? Oh, man. Grandma coming, babe. to wash his hand out. Cause I gotta put the cornbread in here. Don't look 
give me like that. <laughs> And y'all, I'm still breastfeeding. Four months in. Yeah, yeah. Nothing but breast milk. Yeah. So far, I let him get like a little taste of mashed yeah. potatoes. Uh, what else? Hey, uh, oh, no. oh, that strawberry dangy. The strawberry thing. Oh, that you put on your cinnamon roll. Oh, strawberry yeah. Icing. Strawberry icing from the cinnamon roll. little stuff like that. I just put on his pacifier and let him taste it. Yeah. Ooh. Ain't nobody in Houston on my timeline. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no way he cut up like that. Grandma got his pacifier. Hey, he still have to feed up corn and that makes that it good. <laughs> huh? huh? What does that what mean? What word? What word did I say? I don't know what word I said, baby, to, to know to tell you what it means. I don't know what 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 which one you're talking about. Cuddle? What's that word? If you cuddle? No. I I forgot the word. Try to say it. Is it a cuss word? No? Oh, I don't know, baby. Don't be scared. You ain't gonna get in trouble saying it. Cut up? Cut up? Oh, when I said baby brother cutting up, that means like, cutting up mean like he, he crying, he fussing. Oh. He cutting up. <laughs> I thought that was a cuss word. No, it's not a cuss word. <laughs> is it what? Is, is, is it what? Cuss word? <laughs> no, baby, you so you ain't gonna get in trouble for saying cutting up. <laughs> okay. That's what I was so doing about okay. saying that word. It's okay. You won't get in trouble for cutting it. What happened? Y'all better not, y'all better not mess my walls up. I hit the door. Okay. Hey, so it did an accident. All right. All right, so I'm gonna do one thing. Oh, shit, I almost missed the whole bowl. I'm gonna do one thing to Jiffy. I'm gonna take some cornmeal. This is self rise cornmeal, and I'm gonna add, like, damn, I don't know how much I'm adding. I'm stretching the Jiffy basically, so I don't have to use two packs of Jiffy. And I like how this tastes better, and it gives it like a better texture. I can't explain it than using just two things of Jiffy. So boom, got my, my other cornmeal in there. And then I'm gonna take some sugar. I know it says snacks, but like I said, when people sit too damn late, I, um, I don't have my marker thing to wipe it off and redo it. So I know what's in it though. So I'm gonna put some sugar in there. Just a little bit, not a lot of it. I did like the big black pot, but we have the tin mode. Baby brother got his pacifier.
his too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. He let you. He let you. Don't get that slime everywhere. Talking to you. Yes, babe. What? Mommy got to cook. I got to cook. Okay. Let me finish cooking. And then I get you, okay? Don't fuss at me. Be already know what it's like, so. She had it all on the, all on the light switch, on the the salt thing, the sea was just yeah, blue shit everywhere. Water, and I it was sticking to that table. It'll boost stuff everywhere. It's brittle. It's brittle. She don't like she ain't like it on her hands. My baby it's slime. We gonna get on your hands. You can't wash it off and come back and play in it. You playing it? You gotta stay in it. When you done, you done. Do you want to see my sandcastle? Are you ready? Robo's not trying to hear that, Amir. Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. I put some on the napkin. With the oil? Yeah. Mom, look. What? What? I see it. Cool. Now? Now? Where's the cuddle? My cuddle. I'm here.
45 minutes or so uh, I'm going to actually open the oven up to stir them around because the mac and cheese and the baked beans aren't going to take long baked beans are pretty much cooked you just need to warm it up you know now I'm going to add some more flavor to that mac and cheese don't take long um, cornbread is in the oven and I made some rice the other night two nights ago then I'm going to heat up for me because I don't want mac and cheese stand up let's get a wedgie on camera He not no more, man. What you in here fussing about, babe? Why are you fussing at that game? It's a problem. It's a Why do you feel fussing at that game? I'm saying what it do. Stupid shit like right that. Thank you, Shane. That's fruit set up, y'all. He built that PC from scratch, literally. Yeah, we fussing at the game. You got a man that's a gamer, you know what I mean? Yeah. They be fussing at the TV and stuff. Amir already do it. Amir's a little gamer and he be fussing at that game boy when he when he get mad. I be had to tell Amir, calm down. I'm gonna be crying. I played like fruit the last time. Y'all play just alike. You my except you don't I use cuss words. Didn't eat today. <laughs> you funny. Amir said I didn't even eat today because he wanted to be on that game. <laughs> he did not want to eat breakfast. He wanted to play the game. But he, Amir just got the new, uh, the VR system. What, baby? Uh, princess, look at yourself. 
He said, look at you. You ain't looking just like me. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't say that. Sit down and talk to y'all about this food cook. <laughs> Do you want another child? Try for a girl. I wouldn't mind y'all, but I'd be going through it when I'm pregnant, so I don't know. I don't know about that. No, he don't want to sit down. He wants to stand up. Okay, okay. Hey, there you go. Why are you fussing? <laughs> Mommy will stand up. I'll stand up. Did y'all move to Texas? No, we still live in Texas. We just stay on the outside of Houston now. <laughs> so still in Texas. We're in Georgia. We're in Georgia. Jaden didn't want to hear that. He wanted to be the baby. Stop, stop. Kids doing good. They playing with uh, uh, slime stuff Wait, right now. No. Sand slime. Slime told y'all but this is how it looks now now i'm gonna give it a stir and let it get some colors and they're gonna be like really 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 tender and if you like barbecue sauce you can add barbecue sauce to this too but we had barbecue sauce uh country style ribs not too long ago so i don't i didn't want to put barbecue sauce this time. i'm just gonna give it a stir Gonna be so good and tender. Promise you. Okay. Uh -huh. What, babe? <laughs> Mm, that's what.
Why are you embarrassing me, son? What happened? Okay, okay, okay. What are you talking about? No, I don't drain the juice out. You can if you want to, but I leave the juice in because to me, hey. when it's cooking, the juice is like marinating it and tenderizing it, if that makes sense. I, in my mind, that's what it's doing. I feel like, I feel like if I drain the juice, it's going to be too, it's not going to come out the same how when I cook it in the juice. And I do the same yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, no I do the same thing with barbecue sauce. So have the juices in there. I'll squirt barbecue sauce on top of that and like stir it and put it back in the oven. And it's so good. I use sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce too. The uh, hickory barbecue kind, and it comes out good too. There's no people from Houston on my timeline. Or nobody that lives in Houston on my timeline? That makes sense. So, right, so it won't dry out. So I'm giving baby some milk to calm him down. Even though he just ate not too long ago. Chicago. Check in, where y'all at? I thought last time I had a lot of people from, from Houston on my uh, as subscribers. DC, hold on. Chicago, DC, Midwest. Where's Midwest, Christina? Cali, Sarah? I know you and Cali, girl. LA, I've never been to LA. Never been to Detroit. Marcus. Atlanta used to be home. Toronto, Canada, that's lit. That was MN. What's what's the, what state? Minnesota. Minnesota, Vegas, South Carolina. Nobody in Georgia. We ain't got no Georgians. I can't believe it. Nobody from Georgia. Brooklyn. What's up, BK? Florida. Florida. Hey, Cindy. See, so I've been breastfeeding successfully for four months now. I'm so proud of me. It's been a long journey, long nights, early mornings, no sleep, but. We, 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 we doing it, and he's healthy. Atlanta, hey Atlanta. Sil I ain't never heard of that part of Georgia. Sil Sylvania, are you trying to spell Savannah or is it Sylvania? I ain't never heard of that. Yeah. Takes a corner, you probably know. That sound like the country. Aw, <laughs> uh, thank you. I've been getting that a lot. I guess the weight gain look good on me. A lot of people saying that. When I like post pictures and stuff. Hey, Sheba from Maryland. Maryland, y'all got an accent out there. Heavy accent. I love Maryland style crab legs. Like them boot crabs, they be so good. They're sweeter, sweeter. Yes, baby. Yes, honey. Uh -oh. Merlin, yeah, Merlin. <laughs> it's like four hours from Houston. Okay. Well, y'all know we we're, we moved from Fort Worth, which is like, I think it was like three hours. Um, yes, I like blue crab. They're very good. They're a little bit more, they're a little bit more work to eat, but they're good. It's worth the it's worth the process of getting to the meat. Or maybe I'm eating it wrong. I didn't I didn't care for Fort Worth. Like we didn't even go to Dallas much, but it wasn't much in Fort Worth to me. 
compared to what I'm used to. It seemed like you had to drive far for everything, for Walmart, for good food. <laughs> You've never been to California? No, I've never been to California. I want to go so bad. I want to go to California, Los Angeles, um, Colorado, Aspen particularly. My baby fart is smelling like collard green juice. A lot of y'all Maryland's. Oh, wait a second, y'all. I would love to go to Aspen. Mom is good. Bro is good. I talked to both of them today. Bro was supposed to come down here for New Year's, but he changed his mind. He ain't making it, so it's just me and the fam. Just me and the people in the house. I was making you bed. Okay, can mommy finish cooking now? And you and you stay calm. Is that okay with you? Hmm? Is that okay with you? Hmm? I love you. I love you, thanks. Chill out. I'm Chill out for me, I'm okay? I'm almost done. I got this. I got this. You know what Brandon's doing good, y'all. Working. He's trying to join the uh Brandon is trying to join the uh, um Navy. So he's trying to um do all that he's supposed to do to be able to join and get on. He wants to he wants to get on and get away. <laughs> And that's his ticket out, so. All right. Put my phone up. Let's go finish cooking this food. I'm in the Navy. Best spot to be, Lisa. Y'all know I'm Team Army over here, so I don't know nothing about the Navy. Team Army. Lovely, you guys. Okay. Kids got what they wanted. I got some nice stuff. Bay got some nice stuff. So Christmas was good. Can't complain. Cannot complain. So normally I'll um, do some ground beef for my baked beans. I need to get another 
freaking tripod. There we go. But normally I'll grab some ground beef up, but or sometimes I like fry some bacon, but sometimes I do a plain. Today we're doing a plain. I see, baby. A hamburger. So I'm just gonna open up my can of baked beans. And I'm putting it in the pan. I'll show you guys in a second. I need to order that like. I need to order that like tonight. The baby's good cooking with the bee. He was just on the camera for a good little minute. Hogging the camera. I had to give him to dad. So in the baked beans, I'm going to add some sugar. I have not done nails in a whole year, you guys. Another than my own. So I'm adding sugar to that. And I need to get the brown sugar and maple syrup. Okay, That bird gonna fall over here and get you. <laughs> that big bird that we saw earlier. <laughs> you tell me you said that. <laughs> said brown sugar. I'm gonna put maple syrup. I like my beans sweet. If I have barbecue sauce, I put barbecue sauce too. So I'm just gonna put some a little bit of mustard. Like a little bit, you guys. Like to balance the sweetness, if that makes sense. You can add a little bit of ketchup too if you want uh, like that barbecue sauciness. And I'm going to put some pepper. Happy holidays to you too. Happy holidays to everybody and their family. God bless you guys. I ain't got the heat on y'all. Mommy brain. Okay, so... This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna stir all this together. I cook baked beans so many different kinds of ways. Sometimes I cut up onions, bell pepper. Um, I don't put cilantro in my baked beans. I'm just gonna cut this up and let this cook. Let it do what it's doing. It's gonna be done. Check on my meat. Matter of fact, I forgot I got an oven light. No, you need to cook us. I know. All right, looking good. How's mom and the family? Mom is good, you guys. Um, I wanted her to come down here for Christmas and spend a night with me, but she had to work the day before and the day after, so she wasn't able to come. But they are. They did say they were going to come at the beginning of the year. I know she misses Amir being in the house. <laughs> I know she misses her grandbaby. Well, she called us earlier. She's supposed to call us back, and she never called us back. So if you're watching this, Grandma, why you didn't call us back? So I'm going to open my meat again and stir that up. And I keep stirring it periodically so it can get the uh, juices everywhere. Cornbread needs to come out. Done. Stir this meat up. Yeah, okay. Put this mac and cheese and then we can eat. Whoa. I told him that. Whoa! You put it. It don't press it on my nail. That don't mean nothing. Y'all be sweating and stuff. I'm putting this 
rice in a bowl because I need to use this bowl to cook my mac and cheese in. Y'all know I just do Velveeta, mac and cheese. That meat's been cooking. Come on, we've been on live. So we've been on live for an hour and 10 minutes. That meat's been cooking for about an hour now. Hour and 10, yeah, about an hour. By the time everything is done, done, then the meat will be done. So when I put my Velveeta mac and cheese from the box, I put coarse boiled water and I put some salt and um, butter in my water with my noodles so it can be like a little flavorful. So I'm going to add some salt. like a tablespoon worth of butter to that and then I take my cheese going to take my cheese out because I'm going to add extra cheese that way the cheese won't be cold when I put it in there Good, don't need to cook some more. Okay, take a push. Well, that meat came off the bone. Literally, the meat came off the bone, y'all. It's good. I want it a little bit more tender, though, so I'm gonna let it cook, cook of course, cooking it the whole time while we wait for everything else to get done, and that'll be perfect. Flavor is good, good saltiness. It got that little twang to it from the mustard. If you don't have mustard, you can use vinegar too, like pour your little vinegar in there. If you're a saucy person, you can add barbecue sauce. I'm gonna put that sauce on my rice. That sauce gonna be good on the rice. Beans gonna be tasting good. Let's try it out. Make sure they got a good Wait, consistency of flavor. Yeah. 
good beans. Y'all still hungry or full? I'm full. Me too. Okay. I just ate because my. The kids were hungry earlier than when I started cooking, so they had um had a leftovers. My stomach you said your stomach hurts? No, no, no. It shouldn't hurt. Why would your stomach be hurting? But yeah, another goal for me this year too, I didn't talk to you guys about, I want to finish school. I'm back in school. Um, I'm in my second semester. Uh, this is the what, spring semester. And um, I'm going to a two year college. And I am in the health field, which is so hard so far. I do not like it. I'm going to DeVry. I don't know if you guys have heard of DeVry, but I'm going to DeVry. Health Information Technology. I really tried something then, didn't I? <laughs> Health Information Technology. Who else likes uh, watching the food bubble? And yes, my beans is in a pan, y'all, because my other pot is dirty with oil. So I have to use a pan. Do not judge me. If you've been watching me since day one, y'all know I cook some retarded ass ways, okay? I cook without spoons for a long time. <laughs> any plastic where I had only plastic, I mean any spoons like this and like that. I used to use plastic spoons and forks. If you've been here since then, you've been here for a long time. But yeah. And I always cook my noodles on high because I want them to hurry up and get done cooking. And I tend to like not put a lot of water because by the time it cooks out, the water, the water has cooked out. Okay, let me see if I can explain this right. I tend to not fill it up with like a lot of water because by the time the noodles get tender, the water gets low and I just let it cook out and I leave like a little pinch of water in here. So when I put the sauce and the extra cheese, it's like really creamy because fruit likes his mac and cheese like that. He doesn't like it like dry and separated. He likes it like really, really wet. Michelle, yes, you remember? <laughs> yes, I done came a long way. <laughs> Folks, y'all used, used to talk about me so bad. Tell mama we gonna get sick and stuff like that. <laughs> yes, kids, so I don't have to drain them. And it, it's, uh, it, uh, remember the water and stuff has like that salt and butter in it. So that salt and butter is gonna like cook into the noodles and it's gonna give you a noodles flavor. And it's gonna make your noodles like flavorful and not just plain. I do the same thing with my spaghetti, Alfredo. Anytime I use any type of pasta, I put like butter and some salt in there while it's boiling. If you haven't done that and you just put your pasta in just water, like try it with some butter and salt. I promise you it's going to taste a little better. And then taste the pasta. Once it's tender, taste one of the pasta noodles when it's done. And watch how you're like, oh, okay. It's going to make your food taste better. But yeah, we done came up now. We got spoons. I got, I got my red and gold set. I got my wood set. Look, I got my wood set. And I got my, uh, my black set. <laughs> I got plenty of spoons now. I actually had a subscriber uh, P.O. box me some spoons. Back then I had a P.O. box in Atlanta and she had P.O. box me some, a spoon set for the holidays for Christmas. Whoa. Whoa. So I'm gonna cut these beans down y'all cause they're tender and done. They've warmed up good. Stir the noodles so they won't get stuck. Just get them a little stir. And I'm still gonna check on my meat, stir that meat periodically so all of the meat can get some color to it. Food almost done, babe. So I'm just gonna stir my meat up and it threw out the juice so each piece of meat is like coated. And I want the meat to have a good color to it too, so I'm like moving it around so <clears throat> it can get some color on all the sides of it and not burn just on. You don't want it just to sit there and just cook because it's going to burn on one side and not cook and get color on the other side. So mix it up, move it around. 
kind of like caramelizing it. No, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Hey, D. Uh, D. Marie. Waiting on these noodles to tender, get tender. So I can um add the cheese to it. Everything else is pretty much done. I'm just I want my I got my meat in the oven still because I want that meat to get a little bit more tender. But it's so good so far, really flavorful. As always, if y'all try that meat, I love it when y'all be like I tried it or whatever. So y'all do try it. Uh, comment back on this video and let me know you tried it. And if you switched it up and did your own little tweak and let me know what you did. So y'all see how it's like boiled out, basically. Now I'm finna add my cheese in here because the noodles are pretty much tender now. Taste another one just in case. Yep. So I leave the water in there. For the cake page. You're welcome. And then I will plate the food and show it to you guys. And then I'm time to eat because I is hungry. Water to cook out, you guys. I'm stirring it up so it won't stick to the bottom. And I got my heat on low. So I'm gonna add this liquid gold to it. And I'm gonna add some uh, fried sharp cheddar to it. Probably about half a cup, between half a cup and a cup to a one cup. I see, babe. soda right now. Me too. Me too. You too? Yeah, me too. You're not allowed to have soda. I like soda too. What? I don't let him here drink soda. Huh? You want me to drink soda when I get out of this juice? <laughs> get out of I'll let you. Uh -oh. What happened? Oh, I thought the baby threw up. Green tea. It's called, it's called a dentist. 
You gonna help her out, ain't you, in here? You like going to the dentist page? Wow. You gotta stop sucking your fingers or it's gonna mess your teeth up. She said, she said, she said. It's gonna make your, it's gonna make your teeth ugly. Mom, she said it tastes like gummy bears. Yes. Your teeth, your fingers do not taste like gummy bears. They do. So that's why your fingers stay in your mouth? I just turned the heat off, y'all. Stirring all this nasty ass cheese in this. Ugh. I'm gonna show y'all how my man likes his mac and cheese. Y'all see how wet this is? Like, this how he like it. Wet, like me. <laughs> Ooh, insider. If you get it, you get it. <laughs> I don't need to be telling type of jokes on my channel. I take that back. I didn't say, I did not just say that. <laughs> but yeah, this is how I always make it like this, y'all. It's literally like super cheesy, really, really wet liquid gold. And that's why I left that little bit of water in there. Okay. Okay. Turn these off. Check on this meat. Show y'all what the meat looks like before I take it out. And this is what the meat look like. See what I mean by the color? It's so beautiful. <laughs> That's why you gotta stir it. That's why you gotta stir that meat up. I know, baby. There go the meat, y'all. I gotta get my baby. Dinner is done. Can I play with this? What, babe? This. Put the other one up and clean that table off. I did, Mama. I did put that one up. Okay, clean that table off. Here, get a wipe. Clean the table off. Y'all, I burnt my corn muffin slightly, but it's okay. It's just a little color. But boom, there's dinner. All right, get my baby. Thank y'all for watching. Till next time, bye.